Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So this is an impromptu video that I wasn't anticipating making but I'm kind of excited to make it at the same time. This is in response to a lot of comments that I was getting yesterday um, with my review on um, Pretending to Dance by Diane Chamberlain. I mean, if you are new to my channel, you may not know my obsession with Diane Chamberlain, but don't worry, you will find out very soon. Um, most people who have been watching me for a while know I rave and rave and rave about her. So people were asking me, well, what is your favorite Diane Chamberlain book? Um, because they are interested in possibly getting involved with her. And I just thought this would be a really fun video versus, like, just explaining it in the comments. I mean, I love to comment back, but I just thought, like, because I think there's, like, five people that asked me the same thing. I was like, I'm just going to make a video. So, here I am. Um, so far in my short career of Diane Chamberlain books, I have read six books by her. So, excuse my phone. I thought I put it on silent. Um, I've read six books by her. I ranked them for you and I'm going to explain my rankings. Um, I'm also going to give like a brief synopsis about what the book's about. Um, there are currently three books on my shelf that I haven't read by her yet. They all live right here. I've got The Good Father, The Keeper of the Light, I think it's called, and Kiss River. I think that's what they're called. Um, there's thrift book stickers on them. I love to try, lately I've been like trying to like hoard all her books but because I'm just weird. I'm like scared of reading them too fast and then I won't have any more left. So I'm trying to like not like hold off and not read like all of them back to back. So that's why those are still kind of unread on my shelf. I'm going to go from backwards. So my sixth place all the way to my first, um, my favorite Diane Chamberlain book. Um, I will say if you look on Goodreads, I did give Pretending to Dance four stars, which you saw in my last video, but all of Diane's other books I've given five stars. So it was really, really hard to create this list because I just love all of them. Another question I answered it in a comment is what kind of genre is Diane Chamberlain? And I kind of had a hard time coming up with an answer. Um, it's contemporary, definitely contemporary. But most of her books always kind of have like a mystery, like twist element to them. It's kind of hard to explain it because it's like, it's not like, a, it's never like a contemporary romance. There's usually just like some mystery or thriller involved. Um, kind of like sometimes it's self-discovery of self and yeah, it's hard to really explain the genre, but I would definitely go with contemporary with a twist. Um, I'm going to start with my sixth place book, and that is Pretending to Dance by Diane Chamberlain, which I've already explained. Um, I gave this book four stars. This is about a girl, um, who is trying to adopt a baby with her husband, and it goes to the past and explains, like, she's kind of hiding part of her past from her husband, and she's concerned that it's going to affect them adopting this baby. Most of Diane Chamberlain's books do go from past to present. Usually the, pre the present has a problem, and usually the problem lies in the past. And the solution kind of lies in the past sometimes. So, yeah. The reason I gave this four stars and the reason why it's my least favorite is just the naivety of... Naive, the main character is 14 in the past, and she's very naive and just... I don't know, I just could not get into her. It read as a YA contemporary in those parts, and not my thing at all. So, um, that's why I gave it four stars. But I did, like, enjoy it for the plot and the storyline, that's for sure. Um, my next one, the fifth place book, is Summer Child by Diane Chamberlain. The reason this is fifth is because when I was reading it, I came very close to giving it four stars until I got to the end, and the twist just, like, poof brought it in and brought it to the fifth star rating. This is about a girl when she is 11, I believe, she finds a baby that was basically just born on the beach and her family takes it in. So obviously once the future comes, she's still kind of raising this child and things ensue, obviously, due to this. 
Um, I thought that it kind of was just reading like a normal contemporary. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like out amazing. And that's why I was thinking about giving it four stars. But once that Diane Chamberlain twist comes, which it always does, it just like five stars again. Um, her twists are always something that like I never predict. I don't know if I'm just stupid or if she's just that good. But um, yeah. Then I picked... For number four, Diane Chamberlain's The Midwife Confession. This is about a woman. She was a midwife and she commits suicide. And so her two best friends are kind of trying to figure out, like, why would she even commit suicide? Which, obviously, once you start to unravel that, craziness ensues. So, again, five stars for this one. Um, I don't know why I just have this kind of a little bit lower on my scale of enjoyment factor. I mean, it was still really good. And even, like, this one, like, rotates perspectives, too, so you're not just seeing, like, one person's perspective, which also makes it interesting and different. Then I have The Shadow Wife by Diane Chamberlain as well. I don't know why I keep saying by Diane Chamberlain. Clearly all of these books are Diane Chamberlain. This is about a woman who gets pregnant with her best friend's husband because he um they have an affair together because his wife ends up having like an aneurysm or something like that so she's been in a coma and when they had this like fling because they were starting to kind of get really close together because of this aneurysm it kind of like what brought them together kind of thing but obviously like um I don't know if she, like, I'm trying to remember this without spoiling anything. So, like, obviously, like, it's just they're trying to figure things out and how to move on and go on with life. Then I have The Silent Sister by Diane Chamberlain. I just said I wasn't going to say that anymore. Um, this book came out last year, and I was super excited to get to it, and I finally, like, found it on, like, Book Outlet, and it was really cheap and really exciting. Um, this book follows a girl whose, like, parents pass away, so she goes back and finds out that she may have a sister that she wasn't aware of. So, again, five stars. I feel like I can't really say too much without really, like, giving it away and spoiling it, but it was awesome. And then the number one book is The Secret Life of C.C. Wilkes, and this was my very first ever Diane Chamberlain book, so I think that's part of why it's number one, is because it's kind of got that close place in my heart. Um, my friend Ariel is actually the one who introduced me to Diane Chamberlain. Um, I never really pick up on, like, she'll, like, talk about books sometimes, and, like, I'll recommend books, she recommends books, but then I never really, like, look into it. I don't know why. But one day, my library was having a 50% off sale off their books in their bookstore, and then instead of a dollar, they had this book for 50 cents, and the name just caught my eye, and I was like, oh my god, this is the book she's been talking about. So I was like, I have to pick it up, just because. It'll be fun. And I picked it up, and this has started my love for Diane Chamberlain. This is about a woman, and there's a man who's going to be on death row for a killing of a woman and her baby. Or no, a woman. They don't know where the baby went. But she knows the backstory, so she's kind of torn with, like, do I step in and save this guy that I don't know, or what do I do? Because she knows what happened to the baby. She knows what happened at that murder. So, yeah. It was, I don't know, it's just good, and it just, all the nostalgia, I kind of want to go back and reread it now, so that way I can relive the feelings. So yeah, that is my love of Diane Chamberlain. That is the books that I have read by her in order of loving. But like I've said, all of her books for me, I don't know why. I haven't had, hit a bad one yet, knock on wood. I've loved all of her books. So definitely recommend her. Um, there's really, like, I feel like there's no, like, absolute place you need to start. You just need to pick one up, and that's where you should start. Um... I do have, like I said, especially with, like, all of the main five stars, it was really hard to rank 